right, so we get a call for a small alligator in a swimming pool in a super nice neighborhood. So uh, we're gonna go back here and see what it looks like. Oh my God. Oh, he's so cute. He's a Let little go. tiny baby. Look at him go. <laughs> oh my God. He he's... is so cute. I mean, you never know how big it's gonna be when they tell you, you know, but like, look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's teeny. Where did he come from? It's like a, it's a golf course. I don't see any water. I mean, obviously there's water somewhere out here, but like, there's not any immediate water. He must have walked a ways. We have caught our fair share of baby alligators in swimming pools. They're not hard to catch, they're just really quick, so sometimes it takes a little while. This footage is from a GoPro that was attached to the catch pole. Coincidentally, I just so happened to be sitting right above the alligator as it decided to surface. So I saw my chance and I grabbed him. Coincidence, though. Look at him. Yeah. I don't think he knew I was there. No, he had no idea. I'm sorry, buddy. But this is a tiny little guy, so we'll be able to uh, relocate him back into the Everglades, away from people, away from swimming pools. Um, we there's a golf course right there, so he probably walked a little bit. So nuisance alligators under four feet, they're not really considered a nuisance or dangerous, so we're allowed to relocate them. Alligators over four feet have to be either destroyed or kept in captivity because of their homing ability. Hey, baby. Super cute. Got some little chompers on. Yeah, he does. Super cute. 